Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is unable to save personal settings one, retry, cancel or continue without saving. So if you're unable to save the game and if you're receiving this error message with EA Sports FC 24 game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Trend Micro, Komodo, whichever antivirus program you have, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now if you have Windows 10, click on update and security. If you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. In Windows 11, on the left hand side, you will find an option privacy and security. So click on privacy and security in Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. And then click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. If you have the game on Steam, then program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, now open the Steam apps folder, now open the common folder. And over here, you will find the game, your game folder. If you have the game on Epic Games, so you can find Epic Games. Uh, if you have the game on EA app, then you can open EA games. And here you might find the game folder. Now, I don't have the game on Epic Game, so I don't know where you can find it. Yeah, Epic Games, you can find it over here. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in different drive. So I'll open Steam folder, Steam apps, common. Okay, in my case, it's in different drive. Steam apps, common, and then open EA Sports FC 24 folder, and then select all the EXE file over here. So whichever exe file you find it, just add it to the control folder access. Select it, and then click on open. Now click on browse all apps once again. Select this FC24, click on open. Again click on browse all apps, then select FC24 trial, open. Now click on browse all apps, and if you have any exe file in other folder, no, these are not required. So you can add these three exe file maybe easy anti cheat you can select this exe file that, then click on open once you add all the exe file now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now click on system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app now click on browse again follow the same process so open the game folder and then select all the exe file click on open click on add again click on allow another app browse and then select this game exe file now click on open now click on add in my case it is already added again click on browse and then select this trial one and then click on open now click on add now here you can see all the exe files are added over here now click on allow another app click on browse and you can open this installer Select this exe file, now click on open, now click on add. Once you add all the exe file, now click on OK on the bottom. Close this and then launch the game and then check. Now still you are receiving the error message in that case. The next step is to delete settings folder in documents for FC24. Now for this open file explorer and then go to, the, go to documents over here. Here you can find documents, click on documents and then find fc24 open this folder now over here you can see settings folder make a right click and then click on delete delete this settings folder once you delete it you will uh, you might have to uh, your save settings would go away so delete this settings folder and once you delete it now launch the game you can launch the game and then check you should not receive the error message but still you are receiving the error message in that case you can if not resolved, you can delete the complete FC24 folder from the documents. So again, 
go to documents and then make a right click on FC24. Now before you delete this folder, let me inform you that this will result in loss of game progress. So you have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can make a right click on FC24 and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check you should not receive the error. But still you are receiving the error message in that case, close OneDrive or Google Drive. So if you have any kind of cloud storage application running, so in my case, here I can see OneDrive, so make a right click and then click on quit OneDrive. Similarly, if you have Google Drive, close Google Drive or if you have any kind of online storage, you can close it and then launch the game. Also make sure that your Windows username does not have any kind of special character. So when you, when you go to, you can go to C Drive, Users folder and then Username. Now make sure that your username does not have any kind of special character like it has a percentage sign or maybe hash or maybe any kind of special character if you have it then you might face the problem in that case you can create a new account with admin that account should be administrator and then you can log in to that new account and then launch the game now the last step is to verify the game files now for this uh, for EA app users, you can go to EA app and then click on the game, select manage and then click on repair. And after the repair, launch the game. For Steam users, make a right click on the game, select uh, properties and then go to the install files, then click on verify integrity of game files. Similarly for Xbox, Xbox actually whenever you launch the game from Xbox app, it actually opens uh, um, EA app and there you can repair or you can simply make a right click over here and then click on no we don't have an option over here. so you have to repair it from the EA app and after the verification you can launch the game and you should not receive this error again so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel